In this lesson, we are going to talk about arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence. We studied before this, the normal sequence, okay, which, which it has a pattern like two, four, six, eight, like one, two, three, four, anything it has a rule, this is, we will say that this one is a sequence. And we have to know the rule to complete the sequence. But in our lesson today, we will talk about something else, which is called an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a list numbers or term with a common difference between each number. After you find the common uh, difference, you can use it to continue the sequence. Then, let me ask you a question. Determine which each sequence is an arithmetic sequence. If so, find the common difference. So we have the sequence is 1, 2, 4, and then 8. 1, 2, 4, and then 8. What is the difference between the first and the second sequence? What is the difference between first and the second term? Here, in this one. 1, 2, 4, 8. So I have a pattern. This pattern is 1, and then 2, and then 4, and then 8. Okay? What is the difference between each term and the next. If you will subtract 2 minus 1 equal how many grade 8, grade 9? 2 minus 1 equal how many? Huh? 2 minus one. 1 equal 1. 4 minus 2, it will be how many? It will be 2. 2, two. minus 4, it will be 4. Then, when we look at here, the difference between 1 and 2, so we will add 1, and then we will add 2, and then we will add 4. Look at the numbers which we already used them to continue or to write the sequence. This is a sequence, but we cannot say that this sequence is arithmetic. Okay? So this sequence is not arithmetic sequence. Again, what it is, doesn't have a common difference. Thank you, because it doesn't have a common difference. It doesn't have a common difference. Okay, then once the sequence doesn't have a, a common sequence, so we cannot say that this one is arithmetic. We will, we will not describe this one as arithmetic sequence. Let's move to the next question. Next question, you have zero and then 6, and then 12, and then 18. Okay? Is there anyone can tell me the difference, how we will move from one term to the next term? How we will move from one term to the next term? Second term minus first term. Second term minus first term. So we have 6 minus 0, it will be equal 6. 12 minus 6, it will be equal 6. 18 minus 12, it will be equal to grade 9. What do you know? It has a common difference, which is yes. positive 6. Thank you, Adam. It has a common difference, which is positive 6, exactly. Then every time it's 0, becomes 6, becomes uh, 12, and then becomes 18. Then in this one, it's positive 6, positive 6, positive 6. So we will say that this one is arithmetic sequence. And what is the common difference between them? The common difference, the number which you are going to add or to subtract each time. Then to talk about the arithmetic sequence in a list or a term, we have to find the common difference. In arithmetic sequence, we can find that every time we are going to add the same number or we are going to subtract the same number. The third example, 0, 6, 12, 18. He said, if this one is arithmetic, we said, yes, it's arithmetic. Why did we say that this one is arithmetic? Why? Because we found a common difference. 
The second part of the question, find the next three terms, which means we have to continue the pattern to find the next three terms. So the last one was 18. We want to continue. So it will be 18 plus 6. It will be equal 24. 24 plus 30. It will be plus 6. It will be 24. 30 plus 6. It will be 36. So we have 24 and then 30 and then 36. Any questions so far to this point? Any questions? The next question. We want to solve the next question. Uh, fill in the planks, which is the difference between terms, a state whether each sequence is an arithmetic sequence. So if you want to answer the question, please raise your hand. If you want to answer the question, please raise your hand. The question number one. Sir. Question number one, yes. Hmm. Question number one. Tom, I want to answer. Okay, raise your hand. I can see all. Raise your hand if you want the answer. To answer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, Debo. Debolina, go on. Debolina. Answer number one. Question number one, yes. How okay. we can solve this question? First, we find the difference? Difference? Huh. yes, please find the difference. Let me ask you another question. If this pattern we are increasing or decreasing, look at the first term. Decreasing. decreasing. Decreasing, yes. Which means every time we are going to subtract, right? Then we have to check yeah. the first term and then the pattern. If the first number is smaller than the second, which means every time we are going to add. If the first number less than the second, which means every time we are going to subtract. Okay, then go on, uh, Debolina. The difference between them is two. Two, which means every time I'm going to add two or subtract two? Sub, sub, subtract. Subtract two, okay. Check with me. Then 14 minus two, it will be 12. 12 minus two, it will be 10. And then 10 minus two, it will be eight. Then agree with you, the answer, it will be every time we will subtract two. Now, the second part. Could you please find, so, yes? Uh, Miss Sama is uh, asking you to return. Who? Sama. Sama? Mm. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. So the common difference is negative two, right? Is there anyone can tell me? So the common difference is negative two. Now, could you please tell me the next three terms? The next two, three terms, it will be what? Abdullah, could you please complete? Mr. Please. Sorry? For question number one, we are working in question number one. Okay, so we want to find the next three terms. How we will find the next three terms now? Hmm. How we will find the next three terms? Crash, go on, yeah, go on. Um, with, uh, the next term will be six, four, hmm. two. Exactly, thank we you. We must to subtract two. Yes, we must subtract two. So it's very easy question. So it will be six and then it will be four and then it will be equal to two. Right? Understood this part, grade eight, grade uh, nine. So at the beginning, we said we have to know if this one, it will be a uh, arithmetic sequence or not. It depends on the common difference. If we can find a common difference, a standard in each, uh, uh, from each term to the next, so this one, it will be arithmetic sequence, even if you will try, if, even if you will use add or subtract. Okay, who will answer the next question? Question number two, 0 0.3, 0 0.6, and then one, and then 1.5. If this one, it will be arithmetic sequence or not. Okay, Abdullah, go on. Abdullah? Abdullah? 
محمد ياسر محمد yes, okay. yes. Huh? Uh, that is not arithmetic it's not arithmetic yes because uh, because it has uh, decimal because it has decimal so it's not arithmetic no i'm not agreeing no. with you huh? uh, mm. uh, we have to find what we have to find what uh, we, f we have to find the common difference yes we have uh, to find the common difference and then how we can we how we are going to find the common difference how we are going to find it huh? uh, use three terms no we will not use three terms we will subtract uh, listen uh, muhammad listen. we will subtract a second term minus the first term which means it will be 0 0.6 minus 0 0.3 okay it will be how many it will be how many it will be equal 0 0.3 so this is the first difference okay what about the second difference we will subtract 1 minus 0 0.6 1 minus 0 0.6 it will be how many 1 minus One. 0 0.6 it will be 0 0.4 right yeah and then, we don't want to continue already we don't have a common difference then directly we have to say that this one is hmm, this pattern is uh, not uh, not arithmetic not arithmetic it's not arithmetic sequence right so this one is not arithmetic sequence okay understood the first part yes not arithmetic sequence because we can't find a common difference let's move to question number three who will answer question number three can i answer okay go on yeah okay mm. uh, we'll make negative two minus three negative two minus three yes because you want to find what he said from, here in this question he already mentioned the common difference so the question is not to say if this one is arithmetic or not agree with me yes the question said use the common difference to find the next three terms in each arithmetic sequence so already he said that it's arithmetic and he mentioned for us the common difference and he's looking for the next only two terms three terms okay so let's uh, work uh, with uh, the next term. Okay, Hafila. Negative two minus negative three. So it will be how many? The answer, it will be how many? Yeah, negative two minus three. Negative two minus, uh, sorry, uh, negative two uh, uh, minus three. Yes. So we said seven minus three, four minus three, one minus three, negative two yeah. minus yeah. five. Three. It will be negative five. It will be how many? Negative five. Negative five. Okay, and what about the next one? We'll make negative five minus three. Negative five minus three. It will be how many? It will be negative eight. It will be negative eight. And what is the next term? Negative eight minus three. Yes, it will be uh, 11. Negative 8. Okay, correct. Any any objection? Any objection, guys? No. Okay, let's move to the next question. Who will answer the next question? Who will can answer? Can I answer, Miss? Miss, can I answer? Who? Um, I'm Muhammad yes, Okay. Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, we will make uh, uh, 5 plus 10. We will make 5 plus 10. Yes. Yeah. So, so the next term, it will be equal how many? 15. 15, yes. And the next term, it will be how many? It will be? Uh, it will be 20. 20. And the third one, it will be how many? It will be? 25. 25. Thank you so much. Okay. Next question. Determine whether each sequence is an arithmetic sequence 
If so, find a common difference. It's your turn now to answer, please. And if you know the answer, raise your hand. Tell me first if this one, the first one, it will be arithmetic or not. And how you will decide that if this one is arithmetic or not. Hmm. Who can tell us that this one is arithmetic or not for the first question? Negative one and then two and then negative three and then four. Arithmetic or not? What we have to do? Hmm. Are you working? Hmm. Hmm. Miss, can I answer? Yes, sure, Debo. Go on. Tell us first if this one it will be arithmetic or not, in your opinion. No, it's not. It's not arithmetic, right? So, why did you say that this one is not arithmetic? Because they don't have common difference. Because it doesn't have a common difference. Did you check two minus negative one? It will be how many at the beginning? Two minus negative one, it will be three. Negative three minus two, it will be negative five. Four minus negative three, it will be equal one. Then this one, we have to write that this one is not arithmetic. Sequence, right? Is not arithmetic sequence because we can't find a common difference. Let's move to the next question. Thank you, Vibo. Huh. Who will answer the next question? Yes. yes. Can I answer the next question? Who? Uh, Mohammed, the... Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank yeah. you. You participated a uh, wonderful time. This uh, you, you, you participated. <laughs> please, please, anyone can yes. answer, please. Anyone else? Yes. Can I answer? We want only to answer to someone else here, Mohammed. Hannah, okay, go on. Uh, you are. Uh, uh, it is an arithmetic sequence. Huh? Yes. It is an arithmetic sequence because there is a common difference between them all, which is two point five. When we subtract three point seven five from, uh, uh, from uh, when we subtract one point two five from three point seven five, it will be two point five. Two point five. Thank you. Then it's arithmetic sequence. Agree with Hannah? Any objection? It's arithmetic sequence. No. It's because we have, if you would subtract 3.75 minus 1.25, then you would find the answer is 2.5, right? And then 6.25 minus 3.75, then every time we have a common difference is 2.5. What about the next three terms? The next three terms, it will be what, Johanna? Uh, so 11.75 uh, plus 25, it will be 11.25. 11.25, and then? 13.75. 13.75. And then? 16.25. 16.25. Yes. So this one is arithmetic and already we found the next three terms. So this is, was the first part in our lesson. How we can find the arithmetic sequence. A second part that you can use the first term and the common difference of the an arithmetic sequence to write a rule in this form. So we have a standard rule, which is a n equal a one plus n minus one times d. So watch what its letter donated for. N donated for any term. So I can ask you to find the 50th term. You can, I can ask you to find the 100th term, 80th, 99th, 1000th term, whatever than n donated for any term. A1, this is for the first term. n, this is the term number. Then if I will ask you to find the 50th, then it will be A50, and we will represent or substitute the value of n by 50. And what's d donated for? d is a common difference. So let's check this question together. Find the 50th term of this arithmetic sequence. 
then it's impossible to continue counting till the 50th term. It will take that long, long time. For this reason, and once we have a question like this, so we have to use the formula. And for sure, this one is arithmetic sequence. So don't expect that he will ask you that this one is arithmetic or not, because in this question, he mentioned for us the common difference. But in the exam, you could have a question. He would say, prove or say that this one is arithmetic sequence, and then find the 49th term. Then first, we have to classify. For in this uh, pattern, we will check First, what is the first term in this sequence? The first term in this sequence is five. What is the common difference? The common difference, I will back and then I will make 3.8 minus five, it will be negative 1.2. And for sure from the beginning, you note that he started with five and then five becomes 3.8. Then it's decreased. Decreased by how many? You have to check. 3.8 minus 5, so it's negative 1.2. Then every time we have to subtract negative 1.2, and he's looking for the 50th term. Okay, we will back to the uh, formula or to the uh, equation, and we have to write it at the beginning. We have to write the general form, which is a n equal a1 plus n minus 1 times d. We will classify where is the first term. So this is the first term, which is five. Where is the common difference? This is the common difference. He's looking for what? He's looking for the fifth is term. So I will back to the general form and I'm going to substitute. Then A50 equal five plus open a parentheses 50. As I told you here, it was A50. So inside the parentheses, it should be 50. So it will be 50 minus 1 times negative 1.2. So the answer, by the end, you will just substitute. Uh, sorry, you will just simplify. Then 50 minus 1, it will be equal 49. Don't forget the order of operations. You have to multiply first, and then you will add them together. So the answer, by the end, it will be negative 53.8. So the 50th term is negative 53.8. So we have a general form in case if we want to find a number for uh, 50, 20, 30, and so on. It's your turn now, grade seven, grade nine. Use the first term and the common difference to write a rule for each arithmetic sequence. If there anyone can remind me the, the, the pattern, the, the, sorry, the equation, the general form, Hmm. Is there anyone can remind me? Miss, can I uh, can I remind you? Okay, I want someone else. Okay, yes, Sam. Yes, yes. Okay, welcome, Sam. Hmm. No, I'm not. Um, no. Because she was Aiman. raising her hand. I'm sorry, Anwar. Because she's raising her hand. Okay. okay. Huh. A. Tell me the formula first. A N A N A N. Yes, A N. A n equal a one a one n n minus one. We will open a parentheses. Yes, yes, n minus one. Okay, open a parentheses. N minus one times d, right? Times d. So this is the formula. A n equal a one plus n minus one times d. Now we want to clarify. He already gave us A1. A1 was how many? N. Equal how many in this question? He said that if one equal how many? Equal 10, right? And also he said that the common difference equal how many? The common difference in this question was four. Four, four. Okay, then we want to simplify now. We want to simplify to answer that question. Then we will start with, huh? Anyone can tell me, please? We want to solve the question. So it will be huh? A1 equal 10 plus 
Open a parenthesis. Which term we are looking for? Which term? Huh. N minus one. He said, use the first term and the common difference to write the rule for each arithmetic sequence. Okay, so we want only to classify or to put the numbers in the formula. Okay, so it will be 10 plus, plus what? N minus, huh? N one. minus what? One? One. Times what? Times four. four. Times four, yes. So in this question, only we want to classify. Only we want to classify. A, N, this is the first term, and then we will open a parenthesis, so it will be N minus one times four. Okay, understood this part? So the first uh, here in this question, we want only to write. Second the question, eight minus, sorry, negative five, zero, five, and 10. If this one is arithmetic sequence, if this one yes. is arithmetic, for sure it's arithmetic. What is the different? What is the first term? Negative five. Negative five. Negative five. Yes. So the so we have negative five. So this is the first. Term. What is the common difference? Five. Five. How did you find it? Uh, How did you find five? Hmm. I plussed it. You plus it. Or you can say that you will subtract. The first term was negative five, right? And the second term was zero. Then it will be zero minus negative five. It will be equal five. Did you understand me? I want to check with you something. I want to check with you something. Here in this question, you told me that the first term is negative five. Agree with you 100%. Second, look at the first number. The first number is negative five. The second number is zero. The third number is five. The fourth is 10, which means every time we are going to add five, right? Every time we are going to add five, then we will find the common difference equal five. But what about if you have a big number and you want to know which one it will be or, or how you can find the common difference? So you can make zero minus negative five, it will be equal five. Okay, Debo, I'm talking in case if you have a large number, how you are going to find the difference. This one is very easy, so it's easy to say we are going to add five. Okay, we want to answer question number nine now. Could you please calculate it and tell me the answer? Could you please calculate it and tell Seven, me? Two. Did you calculate it? Yes. Mm. Could anyone answer? Do we want to give a chance to someone else? With all, okay. my, with all my respect to you. Huh. If anyone okay. can answer this question with us, please. If you can, please can raise your hand. Did you calculate it, Hefela? Uh, yes, I calculate. Hmm. Did you calculate the answer? Yes. Yeah. No. Find the indicated term of each arithmetic sequence. In the first one, we want to calculate 15th term, 15th term. So go on, Hafela, tell me how we are going to replace. It will be what? It will be, it will be equal to 1.5. 1.5. Let me check with you, 16 plus, we want to replace, so we will open a parenthesis and put in a state of N, what, which, which term? We have to put it here. Which term? Instead of n, we would write. Oh, sorry, that's uh, wrong. Uh, and instead of n, we have to write yeah. what? Instead of n, mm -hmm. uh, we have to write. Uh, mm. uh, mm. And instead of n, he is looking uh, for fifteenth term, right? And we said n donated for the order of the term which you are looking for. Then uh, it will be. Would, uh, uh, it will be in how many? Uh, it will be. This will be uh, fifteen. Uh, yes. Thank you. Yes, it will be fifteen minus one, and then multiply by zero point five. Okay. It will be equal nine. It will be equal nine. Agree with Hefela? Huh? 
Huh? Agree? Yes. It will be yes, 16 plus, and then we will multiply 15 minus 1. It will be equal. 15 minus 1. It will be equal what? 14 multiply by 0 0.5, right? Then it will be 14 times 0 0.5 plus 16. So the answer, it will be equal how many? Nine. Nine? Nine. Sure? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Like check, yeah. check again. Okay. Check again. No, no. 23. Uh, 14 times negative 0 0.5, right? 0 0.5. It will be negative 7 plus 16 equal 9. Okay. Yeah. This one is negative 0 0.5. Let's check the next question. Who will answer the next question quickly? Which Just can I answer? Yes, go on. It will be. Uh, we'll meet. We need who, six. Who is talking? Right, six. Who is talking? Hello. Who is talking? Muhammad, yes. Muhammad, yes. Go on, yeah, Muhammad. Muhammad, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it will be, we'll make we'll, we'll make six plus. Yes. Um. Uh, thirty-two minus yes. one. Thirty-two. Sorry. Thirty-two minus one, and then close the parentheses. No, I multiply by three. Multiply by three. Okay. Did you calculate the answer? Uh, not yet. Mm. Yeah, Thirty minus one. Yes. Uh, three. Uh, it will be ninety-nine. So it will be thirty-one times three plus six. So the answer it will be equal ninety-nine. Thank you so mm. much. Who will answer the last question? Please raise your hand up. I want to know. Who can answer this question? Huh. What's the answer? Yes, please. All the participation, which they they can answer the question, please raise your hand. Hmm. Please raise your hand if you can answer the question. Debo, go on. Who can answer? Okay. Uh, what is the common difference at the beginning? What is the common? Yes, go on, go on. What is the common difference? Two. Okay, the common difference is two. How did you find it? We two. said negative six minus, huh? Negative six minus two. negative eight. The common difference, it will be equal to then. Start to replace in the formula, please, Yadebo. Okay. Mm -hmm. 800 equals? 100, A, 100, yes, equal? Negative 8. Negative 8, this is the first term. Mm. Plus? Plus? A bracket. Bracket. 100 minus 1. 100 minus 1 times? Two. Two. Thank two. you. Times two. What did they answer? So it will be. Answer, should uh, I say the last? Yes, we, we will calculate the answer. We will multiply first 99 times two because you have to follow order of operations. So it will be equal 198 one. minus eight. It will be equal 190. Sorry? 190. 190, yes, it will be equal 190. Thank you so much. So in our lesson today, we were talking about arithmetic sequence. If there anyone can tell me what the meaning of arithmetic sequence? What the meaning of arithmetic sequence? It is a pattern, right? And we have a common difference. We have a common difference. Every time we can add or subtract. Second, we studied how we can say that if this one is arithmetic or not. Second, how we can use a general form to find the missing term. This missing term is not the next three terms or four terms we can calculate, hundred term, thousand term, and so on. 
Any questions so far? <laughs> 